Join us here at Last Adam Tabernacle as we bring Christ to the nation. Thank you, Rachel. Let's give Rachel a big hand clap. Yes. Hallelujah. But uh, yeah, glory be to God. There's some, yeah, some men who are like, are those things what? In our tribe, those things don't what? <laughs> don't apply. Hallelujah. Yes, but uh, let's uh, help one another in our marriages. Okay? Let's help what? One another in our marriages. And uh, yeah, you know, yeah? it's not good to uh, get married or marry and you're miserable the rest of your life just because of simple things. Eh? Okay? You know, you can make your uh, 40 years in marriage miserable just because of refusing to what? To wash dishes. You understand? Yet if you just wash them, the next 40 years are what? So you can imagine simple things can mess you up eh, very badly. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Glory be to God. Amen. Good to see all of you. Okay. Good to see this man in red. I want to talk to you eh, after the service. I prayed that I would meet you and give you some good advice. Glory be to God. Now that you've come my way, I'll tell you what I want to tell you. And then you what? You sort yourself out. Yes. I think I prayed for you on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday or Thursday? I was like, God, you know, if I need to speak to this gentleman, you know, orchestrate what? But it is not evil stuff, all right? He's not a thug. He's not what? Yeah. But I just wanted to what? To talk to him. Hallelujah. God is good. Yes, worship team, th thank you so much. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, but we needed to do justice to that last song. And uh, yeah, that's, yes. Hallelujah. Last week we, we talked about uh, praying for the nation and, uh, you know, making sure our nation uh, serves only one God the one true God, the God of Israel, uh, whose name is called? It's called what? Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, there are different pronunciations of that name. And to this day, Jews don't, uh, don't agree how that name should be pronounced. Okay, Yahweh, Jehovah, Jehovah, all those things. Eh? But he's the one true God. Hallelujah. When Moses was called, you know, when God found him in the wilderness and he called him to go and deliver the children of Israel from Egypt, okay, in Exodus chapter 3, uh, you know, Moses asked God, you know, uh, he asked him uh, in verse 13, Exodus 3, 13, he says that then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and said to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they said to me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? All right? Then in uh, verse 15 it says, Moreover God said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, okay? You see all the letters are? Huh? capitalized, okay? And there he's just telling them his name, but the, Eng the translators or the Bible, the English translators or the Bible, for reasons which I don't understand, refused to put the name there, okay? They just did capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, okay? But God was telling the children of Israel his name, okay? He says, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, Yahweh, Jehovah, God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. 
Glory be to God. What is his name? You cannot see it in KJV or in NIV. Okay, but his name is just uh, the word, or anyway, it was translated as Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Interestingly, this morning, I was on the net, and I came across a Bible, a Bible version called uh, the Names of God Bible. All right? <laughs> it takes uh, the what? The names of God. Okay, so this is a God that we worship. Glory be to God. Amen? Now, Exodus chapter 6, rather Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse uh, 4 to 6. Moses tells the children of Israel, he says that here, O Israel, the Lord, okay, Again, you can see it was supposed to be the name of God. Okay? Just imagine if we had a Bible and where God's name was specifically mentioned, it's there. Eh? Okay? This Lord is different from capital L, small O, small R, small D. They're different, eh? okay? And you, you see, in those days, eh, and to a great extent to this day, every group of people had and has their God. Do you understand? Eh? Okay. Uh, yeah. The, the tribes where men don't do housework, okay, they have their God. <laughs> you understand? Eh? All right. Uh, you know, the Mesopotamians, the Arabs, the Egyptians had their God, and they all had names. Okay, so when God would, or when Moses would talk about God, he there to mention, there to be specific. Who are you talking about? You understand? Eh? So in those days, you just couldn't say, Lord, Mukama. No, no, which one? Okay, and all of them had their names. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If we were using his name, we would be, it would be very evident that our God is not the God of Muslims. Why? Because the names are different. Hallelujah. Okay, the other God is called Allah. This one is called Yahweh, Jehovah. So those are two different individuals. Hallelujah. Amen. And, okay, this God has a son. All right, the Muslims say, no, 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 no. Allah, what? <laughs> Taza Allah. You see, eh? Okay, so this is the God. So it says that, hear, O Israel, Jehovah our God, him alone is one. Okay? Then it says, you shall love him. Okay? You shall love that God, you know, Jehovah your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Okay, now this is our responsibility to this one true God. Hallelujah. Our responsibility to him is to love him. Glory be to God. It is to love him. There's nothing else eh, we are supposed to do to him or for him. Our responsibility is to do what? is to love him. Glory be to God. Okay? And after he has told you that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, then in verse 6 he says, and these words which I command you, to, you today shall be in your heart. So that is how we love God. Okay? By keeping his words, eh? his commandments in our hearts. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, that is how we love what? And you see, when you read his commandments, you realize that they are different from the commandments of other gods. Meaning that these gods are different. Glory be to God. These gods are what? Are different. 
Okay? You just get the Quran and you just get the Bible. And you realize that what? They're saying different things. Hmm? Okay? Hallelujah. You know these things, but sometimes for reasons I don't know, God always, you know, would want us to be reminded of them. Glory be to God. Deuteronomy chapter 4, from verse 5 to 6. It says, surely, this is Moses speaking, he says, surely I have told you statutes and judgments, just as who? Hmm? You've seen, eh? Just imagine if that name had been kept there. Okay? <laughs> okay, just as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should act according to them in the land which you go to possess. Therefore, be careful to observe them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the peoples. Who will hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Hallelujah. Okay? And that brings me to what God would want us to hear today. Uh, you know, when you love God by obeying his commandments, by keeping the, his commandments in your heart, okay, the Bible says that that is wisdom. Glory be to God. Okay, this thing called wisdom must be demystified. Wisdom is not, you know, <laughs> okay, this, you know, I, 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 and now, and that is a problem, or oh, that is where many young people, eh? okay, you young people who have gone to school, eh? that is where you, you're being hoodwinked by this, this word called mysteries. Mysteries, you know, eh? <laughs> okay, people are looking for what? Mysteries, the mystery of this, the mystery, you know, eh? okay. <laughs> And it appeals to, to you guys who are what? You know, who have gone to school. You're all, you know, looking for very difficult, you know, concepts. Eh? Okay? Wisdom is simply that. Knowing the commandments of God and keeping them in your heart. And, of course, obeying them. Eh? Okay? The Bible says that is wisdom. Glory be to God. Now, how, what does it take someone to know what God wants and what he doesn't want? What mysteries, what? Do you understand? Okay, and this is where the two uh, biggest cults in this city, Zoe and Fanero, this is where they have what? Because guys are looking to the, the mystery of prosperity. You see, <laughs> you know, the mystery, mystery, the mystery of what, the, you know, eh? okay, you know, the mystery of what, a happy marriage. Do you understand? Just wash the dishes, eh? you know. Eh? <laughs> Do you understand? Eh? But gay, you know, mysteries, that day you're going to learn a mystery. You know, they're just, it is just stupidity, you know. Eh? Just and you see, people don't want to hear the simple things. Simple things like, okay, I get you what? A par and I read to you what God said. Do this, don't do that, don't do that. Okay, I'm able to imagine. We want wisdom. But the Bible says that is wisdom. Do you understand? Eh? You understand? Eh? Hallelujah. Okay, he says, surely I have taught you statutes. And judgments, just as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should act according to them in the land you're going to possess. Here they are still in the wilderness, all right? Then he said, therefore, be careful to observe them, for this is your wisdom. Glory be to God. These are your mysteries you're looking for. Glory be to God. Wisdom made what? Simple. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you, you just can't do a study. Guys have mysteries. Eh? 
All right. <laughs> but those mysteries, but I for the last I don't know how many years. They haven't done them any good. Glory be to God. Because what they are calling mysteries, they're not mysteries. It is just some intellectual exercise, eh? making simple things sound hard, you know, eh? Okay, the, God says, just do that. And you say that is your wisdom and your understanding. In the sight of the peoples who hear all this and say, surely this nation is a wise and understanding people. Glory be to God. Okay? The nation, eh, you know, your neighbors just see how, you know, you don't steal, you don't lie, you don't fornicate, you don't commit adultery. And they'll say, wow. Eh? Glory be to God. You haven't told them any mystery. Hallelujah. Jed, say amen. Glory be to God. I know there are, you know, there's some, you know, there's some of you who would want to come here and what you hear, a deep, you know, deep, those, well, those deep things are there, but when you actually you look at them, it is just simple chapter and verse. Glory be to God. Amen? By just obeying the commandment, God says, the nations will look at you and say, wow, such a wise and understanding people. Glory be to God. Wisdom demystified. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For me, what I do, I just read the Bible. Then I try to do what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Hmm? Of course, with good intentions. Because the other thing is you can do what the Bible says, but with evil intentions. Hallelujah. Okay? A young man can be nice to a young lady, but with evil intentions. So you see, the, guy has, the young man has done what the Bible says. Okay? Give and shall be given what? to you. <laughs> you see, they have done, you know, they have done a scripture. However, uh, that is not wisdom because the intentions are not what? Are not right. Eh? Are not good. Glory be to God. Okay? All right? So, that is what? All about wisdom. Now, uh, Proverbs chapter 8. For some of you who might not be interested in wisdom, okay? Let's read the whole of chapter 8. It will interest you, okay, to seek wisdom, okay? And that, as we have said, wisdom is simply knowing the will of God, okay? Keeping it in your heart and doing that which has been revealed to you, okay? Proverbs chapter 8. Does not wisdom cry out and understanding lift her voice? She takes her stand on the top of the high hill beside the way where the path meets. She cries out by the gates at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. All you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. You what? Listen, for I'll speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things. For my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked is perverse in, or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands and write to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction and on silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all things one may desire cannot be compared with her. Glory be to God. We all want money, okay? But now here's a verse that says that wisdom is more precious than money. Glory be to God. It says, all things one may desire cannot be compared with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of who? 
Capital L. <laughs> okay, not the fear of Allah. The fear of Allah doesn't bring what? The fear of Lubale, the fear of uh, Nyakazana, the fear of Nakaima, the fear of yeah, it's called all those things. Eh? Okay, it is the fear of the Lord. Okay, say it. Say, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign. Okay, by me, husbands do what? Reign in their, uh, uh, in their homes. And rulers decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, all the judges of the earth. I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honor are with me. Glory be to God. Riches and what? Are with who? Wisdom. They are we simply obeying the commandments. Glory be to God. Riches and honor are not with those stupid so-called what? Mysteries, eh? Hallelujah. <laughs> they are not there. All the things are just to, to keep you trapped thinking that what? Something is working. Glory be to God. It is this simple. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, riches and honor with me, enduring riches and righteousness. NIV, I think, says enduring riches and prosperity. Verse 19, my fruit is better than gold. Yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth. Those who love who? Wisdom. Those who love the commandments of God to inherit wealth. Glory be to God. That I may fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning before there was ever an earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth or the fields, all the primal dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters would not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master craftsman. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world. And my delight was with the sons of men. Now, therefore, listen to me, my children. For blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and do not disdain it. Blessed is a man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates. Waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me, he who sins against who? Wisdom. Wrongs his own soul. All those who hate me love death. Glory be to God. That is wisdom. Glory be to God. And there is no mystery about it. Glory be to God. Wisdom, okay, is simply knowing the will of God and doing it. It is not reading some books you, which you can't understand. Glory be to God. It is not listening to someone a teaching with, eh, having to what? Be a pastor, my, you know, eh? Hallelujah. It is just simply doing the will of the Lord, and the Lord blesses you for that. Glory be to God. Blessed is a man 
who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor do what? Eh? Sit or fast stand. <laughs> okay? But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Okay? The Bible says he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in season. They say whatever he does shall do what? Prosper. Okay? He is a man who delights in the law of what? Of God. It is that simple. Hallelujah. It is that what? It is that simple. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You don't need to have gone to what? Law school. Hmm? To learn how to what? Make simple things what? Difficult. <laughs> Glory be to God. All right? Then you sound wise. Okay? But when you've just made what? Things what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay? It is that what? Simple. Okay? And that's why, uh, anyway, Proverbs 4, 7 says, okay, wisdom is the principal thing. Okay? Wisdom is a what? It is a, and because it is a principal thing, it, the Bible says, in all your getting, get it. Okay? In all your getting, get wisdom, get understanding. Because it is the principal thing. Remember, wisdom has said in, Proverbs 8, that the Lord possessed me from the beginning. Okay, when God created the earth, before he did that, wisdom was with him. Glory be to God. Amen? So in whatever you plan to create, okay, start off with what? With wisdom. Start off with, with I mean, start off with doing right. Okay, you want to create a business, Okay, start the business with non to kufelabantu. Do you understand? Okay, the whole plot you're starting something is to fleece people, give them substandard stuff. You know, now you uh, you started off on a wrong note. Glory be to God. You haven't kicked off with wisdom. Glory be to God. Okay. A marriage, you are the better start it off with wisdom. Otherwise, in fact, before you get to that, you know, you, you see, you're a young man and you see some chick, okay? You are, and you want to, to talk to her, you know? I don't know if it's right on the pulpit to use the word vibe, to vibe the chick. Is it right? I've started off on the wrong note. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to talk to the chick. I mean, you have to talk to the what? God is not going to talk to the chick on your behalf. Glory be to God. Okay? There's a young, there's some guy wanted, he wanted me to, I mean, to be the one to, to talk to some guy. I, you know, the guy would have me, I, I was like, this guy. Okay? <laughs> okay? So anyway, you have to, Okay? To start off with wisdom. Glory be to God. Okay? With what? Wisdom, eh? okay? When you go to talk to her, make sure you whatever, a deal, you know, eh? That is wisdom. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> All right? But there's some wisdom which is not in the Bible. Okay? But when you love the Lord, okay, and you're working with him, okay, first and foremost, Okay, by obeying his commandments, then there is that wisdom he will give you which is not in the Bible. Do you understand? There is nowhere in the Bible, maybe it is there in Song of Solomon, eh? about how to smell nice, you know. Eh? All right, but there's something like, you know, you have to, you know, you have to do those things. Eh? Glory, that is wisdom. Okay, some thug will take your wife, okay, because. <laughs> You didn't use wisdom to use a deal on the first what? On the, uh, the first try. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen? So, wisdom is a what? The principal thing. In all thy getting, get understanding. 
Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 7. First Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 7. It says, this is Paul speaking, it says that we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Hmm? This is right now. Huh? <laughs> Glory be to God. The problem, the, the issue why these things people are playing guys by, you know, such verses, because you started from the middle of the book or the back of the book. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. First of all, if you read this chapter, okay, it is a mystery to those who are not what, who don't love God. But to you who love God, it is not a mystery. You understand? Eh? And it says, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. Okay? These were not lovers of God. Do you understand? So they were not obeying the command. So they didn't know the wisdom of God. Yeah? Okay? For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But, all right, that's a very important word. But, as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear had, nor have entered into the heart of man. Okay, which man? Okay, the men, you know those, the rulers of this age. Okay, who are not in sync with the will of God. Who are not lovers of God. These are the people, the Bible says, I has not seen. No ear had, no have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for those who love him. Who are those who will love him? Okay, we say that those who love him are those who obey his commandments. Do you understand? Eh? Okay, so those who love God who obey his commandments, okay, there is no mystery. Are you listening to me? Okay, then he says, but God has revealed them to us. To who? We who love him. Glory be to God. Okay, the other guys... Okay, they didn't know that's why they crucified the Lord of glory. But to us who love him, he says God has revealed them to us through his spirit. Okay, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now we who love God, all right, have received Known the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we may know. Glory be to God. Okay? That we may know the things that have been freely given to us. We who love God. Hallelujah. So you want to know, okay? You want knowledge, you want wisdom, you want understanding. It is simple. Okay, this is given to those who love him. Okay, and those who love him are those who keep his word in their hearts. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And God will reveal to them even the wisdom that is not explicitly re uh, revealed in the word. Glory be to God. Like using a deal, you, you know. Eh? <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah, we all need wisdom. Glory be to God. Okay? Wisdom was with God before the creation of the world. Okay? Hallelujah. By wisdom, everything was made. Okay? So for us, by wisdom, okay, we shall also be successful eh, in whatever we embark on. Glory be to God. And I emphasize first and foremost, it begins with knowing the will of God, obeying the will of God, keeping the word of God in our hearts. Hallelujah. Amen? Psalm 25, verse 14. It says, the secret of who? Of who? The Lord. Which Lord? <laughs> okay, the one true God. Okay, you remember capital L? Capital O, capital R, capital D. 
The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. Okay, other version says the counsel of the Lord. Glory be to God. Is with those who fear him. Glory be to God. Okay? And he will show them his covenant. Glory be to God. The secret of the Lord, the counsel of the Lord, the advice of the Lord, the wisdom of God is with those who fear him. Glory be to God. Amen? I'm sorry for, for you if you came, what? You know? Expecting to hear deep things. Okay, what I'm telling you is if you're looking for deep things, this is deep stuff because the word, there's nothing deeper than the word of God. Hallelujah. Okay? Those cute phrases, eh? people throw around and they, wow, you know, eh? guy, you know. Eh? Okay, <laughs> nothing is deeper than what? The word of who? The word of God. Okay, now, 1 Kings chapter 3. Okay? 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 3. It says that, and Solomon loved the Lord. How did he love the Lord? Walking in the statutes of his father David. Of course, the statutes of his father David were the statutes of God. You understand? Eh? So Solomon loved the Lord by doing what? Walking in the statutes, in the commandments of God. Glory be to God. Okay? You remember last year? Last year, Joan had a dream. Okay? In this dream, and then she, you know, she, you enter the church or a building, and, uh, you know, you found Rick Joyner praying. Eh? Okay? Rick Joyner was deep in prayer. And, you know, Joan, you know, wanted to, you know, to interrupt him and ask him, you know, uh, that how can I love God? Eh? Okay? Okay, but the guy was praying at Amala, you know. Eh? Okay. Then you interrupted him or he stopped? You interrupted him. Huh? You were about to interrupt him and then he got up. Okay? Then you asked him. Eh? The question was, how can I love God? Eh? How can I love God? Okay? And Rick Joyner, what did he say? You come and say things. <laughs> Glory be to God. Let's try, yeah. What did Rick Joyner say? Rick Joyner said, uh, you see that book, the Bible? Just do what is written in that book, and you'll have loved the Lord with all of your heart, all of your mind, and all of your strength. Glory be to God. Okay. Now, we have a generation which says that what? Okay. <laughs> The commandments, why you know it, biagwa. But God says, that is how you love me. All right? Okay? I thank God that, you know, that dream came. Eh? Because we have been conditioned eh, to start from what? Matthew. All right? Matthew. These things before Matthew, you know, were what? Abolished. Okay? In fact, even when you read Matthew, okay, there's also uh, the things before the cross, <laughs> before <laughs> Matthew 20 something. They are, those don't, don't apply. It was, be, you know? <laughs> uh, that's a big lie. It's a big deception. And this deception is to get people into hell. I'm telling you, when you think about it, it is to get people into hell. And now, in fact, the greater deception, well, I don't know if it's greater, what is that no, you cannot go to hell, you're Christian. That means that uh, uh, even if you don't read the what? Walokoka in senior two. Okay? Most of you, especially ladies, eh? You got saved in P1, eh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, men. You ask guys when they got uh, what? saved. 
They'll tell you senior six, of what, you know, campus. But girls, eh? okay, girls, see, eh, P2, what? Eh? Then I backslid a bit. Then I go served again in P6. Eh? Okay? Women, most women are that, what? Eh, in nursing. Now, like, kids who go to Christian uh, who, who schools, eh? okay? Mkwanzi will tell people in the future that she got saved when she was in baby class. All right? <laughs> Yes, yes, but where was I going with this one? With this women getting what? Saved in Pito? I don't know. And yeah, Solomon loved the one, <laughs> loved the Lord. How? By walking in the statues of his father David. Except that he sacrificed and burnt incense at the high places. Now, verse 4, okay, it says that now. The king, Solomon, went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was a great high place. And he offered a thousand burnt offerings on that altar. A thousand what? Now, there was no law or commandment that you're supposed to sacrifice a thousand burnt offerings. It wasn't there. This guy just loved the Lord too much. Hallelujah. You know that song, the Nigerian song? Jesus, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Jesus, will, you love me too, but for, you know, then, yeah, and Solomon also loved the Lord too much. Too much, oh. All right? <laughs> okay, there was no what? You see, okay, you can love God according to, like you can fulfill the basics. Hmm? The basics of loving God. I don't do this, I don't do this, I don't do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. You're just a nice guy. You know, eh? a nice guy. You, you, you're a nice Moloko. Eh? You're just a good what? You don't antagonize anyone. You don't antagonize cults. You're like, there's no scripture which tells me that for me I should what? I should say what God showed me in a dream. For me, peace, peace, you know. Eh? All right, so you're a nice guy, you know. Hallelujah. You're a nice what? A nice guy. Okay? You don't antagonize your wife. You're a nice guy, you know. <laughs> okay? <laughs> nice guy. Whatever your wife says, you do. You're a nice guy. Okay? Nice chick, you know. Okay? However, Solomon went beyond the basics. Do you understand? Eh? Okay, he went beyond the what? The basics. The guy sacrificed a th Already you see he was loving God by walking in the what? Then he took it higher. He offered a thousand burnt offerings. Glory be to God. And the Lord was what? Was pleased. The Lord was what? was pleased. So, at that same place, at Gibeon, after Solomon had sacrificed the Lord, it says that at Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, ask, what shall I give you? Glory be to God. This guy took the game to another level. He didn't, you know, these things were, for example, you know, I, I love God. I go to church. Okay? You know, I go to church. I Where there's, whether there's coronavirus or not. Okay? I love God. I go to church. You see? Eh? And at church, we sing. We worship the Lord. Okay? But then, what do you do after? You understand? Eh? Okay? You see? Eh? There's someone who would take it farther than just Sunday. Hallelujah. Okay? And he will continue. He will continue what he knows God loves. He will continue it throughout the day, throughout the week. It will be his lifestyle. Glory be to God. That's what Solomon was at that time, and that's what God wants us to be. Okay? He so pleased the Lord that the Lord appeared to him in a dream by night and said, 
ask what I shall give you. Glory be to God. Okay? And you all know the story. Eh? Don't you know the story? Okay? What did Solomon ask for? In verse 9, it says, Therefore, give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this great people of yours? Okay, so you see, already Solomon had wisdom because he was walking in the statutes of God. And God says walking in my statutes is wisdom. So Solomon was wise. Solomon didn't become wise after this. He was wise. Glory be to God. He was what? He was wise. What he got, okay? And it says that he asked for that. And then uh, the Lord says, the Bible says in verse 10, the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked for this thing. Okay? Wisdom and understanding. Okay? It was something more than what? The basics. They, they revealed what? Don't fornicate. Don't steal. Don't ever your lia be mad Okay, but there's always something more in God. There's always greater wisdom. Glory be to God. And that greater wisdom is available to those who will love God to match your, all right? It is available. There's always greater things in God. Hallelujah. If you want just the basic wisdom, okay, you can have it, eh? okay, and you'll go to heaven. Glory be to God. But if you want greater wisdom, you have to do greater things. Eh? Okay? Hallelujah. There was no commandment that a king is supposed to sacrifice a thousand offerings. It wasn't there. Okay? But Solomon loved the Lord too much. Okay? And he gave that much. Glory be to God. And the Lord says, you know, what do you want? says, wisdom to judge your people. Meaning that that wisdom, okay, uh, you know, most of it, I guess, wasn't in the written word of God at that time. Hallelujah. There are things, there are many things which are not in the word. And the Baptists had to hear that. Hmm? The Baptists. <laughs> you see, eh? <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. The Baptists, she would never hear you saying that, yeah, we have the word, but, you know, I know God, but I want more. Eh? To the Baptist, is a word. We, we, the, you want more than the word? Glory be to God. Okay, and, and you see, this is, uh, you guys have to be careful eh, with, uh, anyway, there are many guys on the, uh, like the internet were bashing some uh, teaching, some songs, some everything. And when you listen to them, Bulunji, they really have no case. Eh? It is just some, you know, it's a doctrinal issue. They are like, like they can't listen to dreams, to visions. According to them, the prophets, they ended, now we have the word. All right, we have the word. <laughs> We have the word. So when you say that you want something more, you want more of God, eh? they say, now look at you. Okay? Uh, you know, eh? so you have to be careful when you're listening to stuff eh, on the internet. Number one, you should uh, try to discern, eh, if you don't know, who you're listening to. Glory be to God. Okay? Most of those fellas are Baptists. And they don't have... They don't have anything to do with the things of the spirit. Spiritual things. Eh? Revelation. You know, eh? Hallelujah. Okay. So anyway, Solomon got what? Got what he asked for. Something, was, something that was more than what was revealed at that time. Glory be to God. And now we can also have it. Okay. We can love God too much. And God can say, I will give you this wisdom. Okay? Wisdom that will cause you to prosper in whatever you're doing. Wisdom that will enable you to prosper in your marriage, in your business, at your workplace, in your farming. You know, eh? Hallelujah. 
Hmm? In your, you know, eh? in your what? In your, oh, you know, in your what? Elisha, in your vibing a chick. You, you know, eh? hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, Hebrews chapter 13. You know, we can also do what Solomon did. We can offer a thousand burnt offerings and even more. Glory be to God. Okay? We can offer bulls to God in this day and age. This is a guy, I think he did it, this soldier guy. Ereu, Ereu. What's that guy called? Peter, Peter or E. The guy built a what? <laughs> For man, these guys. Eh? You know, when this Cassese thing happened, eh? you remember? He commanded it and, you know, he, he, uh, you know, he, he, he killed guys. By the way, I'm not saying what he did in Cassese was wrong or right. Eh? Okay? But uh, you see, it could have been right. Hmm? <laughs> now I've lost you. You're like, Pastor, oh, what do you get out wisdom? Cut you what? You see, it, you see, there are some things which you, as a civilian, are not supposed to do. Okay? Yet a soldier is supposed to do them. Do you understand? Because it is his calling, it is his responsibility. Okay? Okay? The wood, the sword. You may remember Romans? It's 13, it's their responsibility. Eh? Now, I don't know if you guys heard what was happening in Cassese at that time. Okay? Behind the news. Okay? Things which did get into the news. Okay? Some of those things actually circulated in the, uh, these WhatsApp, uh, you know, eh, things, okay? These guys, man, eh, were killing soldiers. Actually, I think cops. Eh? These Kasese guys. Hmm? Okay? And, you know, they were, they were in deep witchcraft. Eh? Okay? And, no, I, I know of a guy... You know who? Uh, anyway, he, he, you know these counter-terrorism fellows. Okay, so she was he was working at a certain property, and this guy, counter-terrorism guy, the guy said he was uh, at a certain point during that time. He was also in Kasese. You see, eh? <laughs> to eh? to to fight <laughs> these guys. Man, these guys were serious. If they get you when they have charged their spiritual staff, eh? no bullet would get them. They will just come for you. They killed cops. Cops were at guns. Those stories of guys throwing out the guns and they run are true. Do you understand? Those guys were so. And now, these army guys, of course, know those things. Now, I think, hence, that thing of what? Now, the, the, the issue was you have to get them before they charge. You know, eh? <laughs> you heard those stories, eh? didn't you? So, and that's why now they had to just, you know, get where they are, and I think throw like a bomb in there. You understand? Because this thing was beyond what? <laughs> beyond military, <laughs> what these guys are studying in school. I know some of you are getting annoyed, eh? but the truth of the matter is there are things soldiers are supposed to do. Soldiers, you know, if need be, God expects them to kill. And by the way, there's a difference between killing and murder. Isn't that so? Hallelujah. There's a difference. When you are in war, when you are at battle, okay, and you kill someone, that's not murder. Especially if you're like working for the, uh, the government which is supposed to protect God's people. That's not murder. 
You've just done your responsibility. Are you listening to me? You know these things, eh? But sometimes you pretend like you don't know them. And you begin to make noise over things, what? Which God is what? You begin to speak without wisdom, <laughs> if I should say. And I saw that Ereru guy is the one who, you know, who was in charge of that, and he, he killed guys. Then he began to talk about God, God things, you know. <laughs> so I thought the guy was born again. <laughs> Until I think last yeah, towards the end of last year or early this year, when the guy built a what? <laughs> yeah, an altar. You remember it was in the papers, eh? And I think it was on TV, an altar. And the guy was going to sacrifice what? <laughs> Would you know that story or you don't? You're acting like what? E. That's when I really this guy is what? <laughs> this guy is fake, man. Okay? Fake. Not as far as his work is concerned. Eh? Do you understand? Eh? Eh, I think as far as his work of a soldier is concerned, he's a great guy. But as far as his worship, you know, he's a fake what? <laughs> he's a fake guy. Okay? <laughs> fake what? Fake guy. <laughs> fake guy, you know. When I say that statement, it reminds me of a guy who with on campus years ago. This guy, he would, this guy was weird. Born again, very serious guy, very nice, you know. Then he would tell you the kachiki he, he, he likes. Okay? <laughs> he tell you what, you know. Now he was on, on campus, but he was interested in some kachiki in senior one, or senior two. Okay? But he was a very safe guy. You know, those guys who get saved in P2, you know, <laughs> like most chicks. So then he'll tell you, man, you know. And he was that kind of guy, you know, when he loves, like especially a girl, he will really get, you know, and you want to, to tell everyone about his girl in senior two. Then when you try to talk with sense in his age, he say, but you, but you man, the girl, you know. The guy say, you're a fake guy, you're a fake guy, fake guy, you're blickening. Why? <laughs> Do you remember that word? Blickening? Okay, bleak, eh? like you're bleak. Eh? Hey, you're blickening. <laughs> and you used to, what? <laughs> with stammer, eh? you know, blickening, wow, blickening, blickening, fake guy, fake guy. You know? The moment you would try to put questions on his liking, that guy is too cheek. Blickening, bleak, what? Fake guy, fake guy, you know? And he would catch you, you know, out of his circles. Okay? <laughs> then, then, I don't know what happened to that Kachik, the senior two chick. Oh, she was the same one. The guy gets to know, I don't know how, that uh, she had what? HIV. Okay? And the guy came. And he told us how he's going to want to marry her because he loved, you know. Then when you tell him, but you know, bleak, bleak, you know what? <laughs> fake guy, fake guy, you know. I'm telling you this guy, man. But a wonderful guy, wonderful, very brilliant. Eh? But you try to speak wisdom. Eh? Say, you know what? You're bleakening a fake guy, fake papa, you know. As he stammers, you know, out of his circles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen? Yes, we too can offer God a thousand burnt offerings like Solomon. Eh? Okay? Now, Hebrews chapter 13, I'm going to show you that we too can, can do what Solomon did. And we can even do better, I guess. Okay? Hebrews 13, verse 15 says, Therefore, by him, by Jesus, through Jesus, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Okay? The sacrifice of what? Of praise. Okay? Now, this, the sacrifice of praise, the fruit of our lips. I got to learn sometime last year, that, that word fruit, eh? okay, is actually 
we're supposed to be bulls. Hmm? Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the bulls of our lips. Okay? <laughs> Giving thanks to his what? His name. The bulls, the sacrifices. Of course, the translators, eh? as in, how would you say what? The bulls of our lips. Eh? So, the translators were after people understanding, okay, what something means. So they were not ready to write controversial things. Okay? This passage, okay, uh, Paul, who wrote Hebrews, okay, remember, Kenneth Hagin, Jesus appeared to Kenneth Hagin, and he asked him that who wrote the book of Hebrews? Because people, when you ask the Baptists, okay, the scholars, whoever, all those, the theologians say, who wrote the book of Hebrews? They say, it is not what? We don't know. All right. How, so Kenneth again, Jesus appeared to Kenneth again, and they talked stuff. And then Kenneth Hagin asked him that who wrote the book of Hebrews? And Jesus said, it was Paul. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, Paul got this statement or this verse from uh, Hosea chapter 14. Okay. Hosea chapter 14. Let's read from verse 1. We're going to read verse 1 and 2. And I show you the bulls of our what? Of our lips. Hosea chapter 14, verse 1 says, O Israel, return to the Lord your God. Return to who? To the Lord. Who's, eh, which Lord? That one. For you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all iniquity, receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. How many of you are reading KJV and, uh, or NKJV? Okay. The sacrifices there, there is a, a, a number. Okay, have you seen it? Okay, now when you go in the imagine, okay, that number, okay, they say it should have been literally, it should have literally been translated as bull cows. Glory be to God. Bull what? Bull cows or bulls. So he said, we will offer the bulls of our lips. Glory be to God. Now, what I'm telling you is that Solomon offered unto the Lord a thousand burnt offerings. He loved the Lord that much. Okay? And the Lord appeared to him and asked him, ask what I shall give you. And Solomon asked for wisdom and God gave him wisdom. Okay? Now, we see that we too can offer those bulls, a thousand bulls, plus. Okay? And we can get what Solomon got. The wisdom that is not specifically revealed in the scriptures, the Lord can reveal it to us, can give it to us. We who love him, eh? okay, if we also take things to another level, not just doing basic things. Eh? You just go to church. Eh? You just give. Eh? You know, eh? but the thing of you give more than normal. You worship more than what? an average Christian does. Glory be to God. All Christians pray, but there's something called praying more than the average. Do you understand? Eh? All Christians praise and worship the Lord, but you can, you can do greater. Glory be to God. Okay? And God gives, you know, he deals with measure for measure. You love him a little? Okay. He will also give you a little of him and of his things. Glory be to God. You love him too much like Solomon. He will give you too much of him and of his things, which include wisdom. Glory be to God. So we took an offer. The what? The bulls of our lips. Giving praise to his name. Glory be to God. Okay, so praise and worship is one of the ways, you see, 
God is like, that is one of the ways that the people who do that, eh? okay, they will be partakers of my wisdom. Glory be to God, like Solomon was. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, in all thy getting, get understanding, get wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Wisdom is more precious than silver and gold. Hallelujah. And God wants you to know that there is nothing deep about these things. Hallelujah. It is known for some very brilliant spiritual fellows, eh? okay, who can access the mysteries of God, you know, eh? then they come back and tell you what something you don't even understand. Glory be to God. It just begins by obeying the commandments. He says that obeying my word is wisdom. People will look at you and they say, wow, eh? what a, a wise and understanding nation. Are you listening to me? Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. We thank you, precious Father. We glorify you, Lord. Father, we love you. But we want to love you more and more. We want to love you, Father. We want to love you. We want to love you a lot. We want to love you a lot, Father. And we know that when we love you that much, on your side, there is so much for you to give unto us. And most importantly, your wisdom, the wisdom that comes from above. Father, help us to love you. Help us to know your word and to walk by it. Help us, Father, to worship and to praise you more and more, Father. Adam Tabernacle, Christ for the Nations.